Okay guys, today I'm here with Ali Fawaz. Hello. Uh, uh, top 30 dude, uh, why say is Prague? Uh, this past weekend with Draco Pals. Yeah. And um, yeah, he put a lot of effort into building a deck and let's see um, if he can explain us his card choices more yeah. in detail. So uh, I discussed very much with Lorenz Santoni on the last YCS and we played the same build. So we decided to play the the standard like one joker, one monkey board, three sorcerer, uh, two lizard draw with one gear turtle because we play two of the silver claw it's just better than playing three silver draw and one gear turtle because they're rank four you can just pop them and still make it the next turn um, several plays exceeds whatever so you like. You, you chose to play those silver claws um, yeah, because they're, they're high they're, skates? They are they really have... strong, they're high skates, they're, they're making exceeds, fusion, they're really aggressive so they are still making 2-1 and also pushing monsters okay. to get rid of the monarchs okay, perfect. they are really strong uh, one donkey I think it's enough you don't need two mostly you you did never play like two one is more than enough in my opinion yeah okay. like three vectors uh, three master pendulums with one slayer I decided to play three and three because I played this dude he was amazing at this tournament. It's like it's a must to play. Just get rid of everything what is there. Just something to. He's every exceed monster. He's a dino star. Whatever you like. It's. It would be stupid not to play him. Yep. Yeah. So basically, uh, we returned uh, after four or three years um, to like rescue rabbit format again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Monsters are it's, good a, again. it's like you're playing six normal monsters because the mass panel is so mm. strong even in scales. Mm. And this dude is like, it's a must to play. Yep. Would be stupid not to play him. Uh, three Ariadne. Yep. And mostly you want to start with this deck and this card is so strong in this format. It's just searching your counter tricks for free and counter charge through the whole board is like GG for your opponent. You open and can't handle everything. So, uh, in my opinion, you have to play three in this format because you every time want to start. He's also on low scale. It's like a must to play. I would never try to play two in this format. Would be stupid, in my opinion. Yeah, one eccentric. Mm -hmm. It's a must. Maybe I will play two. Um, he's like a removal for vanity scene, popping uh, domain, getting rid of spare traps you open in setting, uh, searchable most of the time I search him just with Magister end of turn. So he was so strong, high scale, like I would really play too. Yeah, yep. three upside goblins, three wavering eyes, best card ever, face off, without this card we can't even play the stack. Two painful decision. Um, I don't play unexpected die and I don't prefer to play three of them. They are mostly in the late game they are totally bad. If you start in combo without this card, you mostly just have like one master pendulum left. If you draw two vector they are also already dead, so I will prefer just to play two. They are really strong to make um, Dinosaur and Special Sun from the graveyard, but you ne never want to draw two or even in the light game, so two is, are more than enough in my opinion. Uh, one Sword Charge, this card mm. is really amazing. Everybody who says this card is bad in this deck, he never played late game or never played second. It's like poppy, uh, getting rid of your opponent's spare trap cards and reborning everything, getting the light game you Ignister back. It's ridiculous. It's, it's a must to play. Really, it won me so much games. Unbelievable. Th this card should be banned. Uh, two strikes, one warning with two Horn of Heaven. So uh, I decided with Lawrence we play Horn of Heaven because um, this card is so strong versus Monarchs. It's like your opponent can play outplay uh, your strikes, but he can't outplay Horns. So if you're popping uh, Ariadne, you can play with Monarchs, uh, let him choose one out of these three cards because all three cards are amazing versus Monarchs and we are playing versus something else, you're just using these three so at least you're getting one really good card. This is also okay versus Cosmo and really good with Pepe so this card is, it was so strong at this tournament, I would not change it. It's like, in my opinion, five counter traps is the best you can play in this format. Okay, okay. this was the main card. Mendek, so now the sideboard.
played... So before going to the sideboard, uh, yeah. what were your matchups during the tournament? Um, I played with uh, three Cosmo, three Monarchs, um, no, four Cosmo, two Pepe, one Infernoid, one Moftronic. Yeah, Moftronic was kind of weird, but he j just played with Natura Beast and Quasadrain. I was... It was not that easy like I thought. And one, mm, what was that? Um, yeah, mm, I I forget. Like also Pendulum. Yeah, Wisdom Eyes and stuff like that. Magician. Yeah. I uh, wasn't that strong in my opinion because Epix. Okay, I played in sideboard two Maxi and two Goldsugar. My opinion, the best trap cards you can board if you're going second in the mirror match. They are really strong if you just hit monkey board. It's like GG. Mm -hmm. It's a must to play there in Cyber. Even with FTK, you saw it, and it was also in the tops. Um, when did I get you one Darko for going second to the mirror match? All with Monarchs. Two system down. In the theory, really strong with Cosmo, I think. I think also in the practice, but I never draw it. Really, I, n not even once I draw this card with Cosmo. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, I would want, I think, we're in the, in the top 32. One twister, three MSCs. I prefer to play um, more out to floodgates than my opponents. Boring floodgates. Uh, mostly you like boring three anti spare frequency, so you have four outs to it. Higher chance. I think that's good. Uh, and three mask of a streak. I prefer mask of a streak just of this key beetle dude. It's like making this effect on it. You just one where it's more. Mm -hmm. yep. Only out they can play is trap eater, and mostly they don't play it. And even that you can strike it, so it's too good. So extra deck, I play yeah three Ignister is a must. You have to play three because one you need for the exceed and two you just need for the Cosmo matchup. Um, two Dinostar with one Beast Eye. I played this dude because um, if you if your open hits your Vector with the face off and you have start with a Silver Claw in your hand before Pendulum Summon, you can just um, special summon in is in rank 8 and you still have the dinosaur for play afterwards so you just make the rank 8 exceed with uh, the Ignister without using dinosaur. He was really... I, I summoned him two times, it's not a must but it was okay. Especially you can use Dunky because he isn't any panel of monster. Uh, yeah, two Magister, one Castell, one Imp, one Dweller, one Diamond Direwolf, one Giant Hand. He won me three games at this tournament. He was really good. Uh, one Lancelot. This guy, he's so good. He, he made the matchup where it's Cosmo, he, he made Cosmo huge problems like negating the trap cards if, if he can't get rid of it and taking your opponent every time at least one option. And if you can get rid of it, most of the time just the Magister and so staying on the field, so you still have place before even Pendulum Summon. He was really strong at this tournament. He, he won really a lot of games, even in light game. You, if you just summon him, take just an option and win the game. It, it's a must in my opinion. In my opinion. And yeah, a key battle for Mask of Restrict Lockdown. Um, even if you're going second to save your warning. Uh, strike, whatever. It was okay. I summoned it three times. Okay, so um, would you change anything in the build? I would add one eccentric, and I think I would cut the beast eyes for something else. Any exceed, I don't know exactly what. Maybe an F, maybe an F zero or a lightning if I would play in America. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, what what about your matchups? Anything um, special? So like yeah, I, I played with Moftronic. It was so strange because they just summoned a Tria Beast in Quasar, and I was like, really, what the fuck is going on here? I but uh, the best was I started so I can search even my uh, eccentric and out his Natria Beast. So it was okay. It was a really strange matchup. I don't know. Yeah. But okay. yeah, I started 8-0, Lorenzo was seven. One, it was the deck was really great. I lost one game just to know how Phantom Knights knows because I never applied where is it, so it was fine. Okay, so thank you very much. Congratulations to your top. Thanks.